<sighs> Welcome back, guys. We're streaming once again. Gonna hang out for a bit. This time, gonna be playing some uh, Jackie Chan's Action Kung Fu. Right now, I have the uh, Famicom version popped in. I don't really think there's too many differences between the NES and the Famicom version, um, other than the title screen. We'll look at the title screen for both of them. It's kind of funny and stupid at the same time, but this game did come out in North America on the NES before it came out on the Famicom, just like a little over a month earlier. I always find that stuff interesting when back in the day a game came out in North America first. Also came out on the TurboGrafx-16 and uh, the PC Engine, which was uh, the superior port, I think. I played that one quite a bit. Never really played this one much, but hey, that's what we're doing today, guys. So what's going on, everybody? See who joined us. Hopefully our stream quality's all right. Shifty Nifty, what up? Avixian, Robo Messer Owner, what up? Temp Anon, I'm probably messing up some of your names. Apologies. Tippernet, Carlos Juarez, yo, what's going on? I got like something on my glasses, man. <sighs> Always bothers the shit out of me. But, um, there we go. But uh, there we go. That's this is the uh, the cover to the NES version. Like you have a more realistic uh, Jackie Chan up on there, right? Jackie Chan's Action Kung Fu, uh, published by uh, Hudson Soft. Um, I don't think it was developed by Hudson Soft. Let me double check. Uh, developer was Now Production. But there you go, Jackie Chan for the NES. Little realistic Jackie Chan action up on there, and then if um. Let's go ahead and reset the uh, Famicom version. Take a look at the uh, the title screen there. You have his in-game character up there, you know, some some words that I can't read other than push start and Hudson Soft. And then if we swap it, show you the, uh, the NES version. Get that one booted up. It looks like you have some weird image of Jackie Chan looking like he's taking a mean shit, right? And then you look at the uh, the cover to the Famicom version, and he has that goofy ass looking face too. <laughs> and this this came out after the uh, the NES version, but I'm like, I don't know. This is an instance where there's a lot of times where I like the Famicom art, the Japanese art better, but this is not one of them. <laughs> this is definitely not one of them. I like the NES uh, cover art a bit better with the realistic Jackie there, but there you go. But we're gonna play the Famicom version just for the sake of uh, I'm playing on a Famicom. So let's turn that on. I gotta change the source on my TV. Or my monitor, whatever the hell you wanna call it. But yeah, there we go. This title, little title screen, you don't got Jackie Chan taking a shit right there. So that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. But let's see, who else is here? Let's get this party started. Uh, 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 Bip, pop around, what up? Carlos, appreciate the kind words, man. Got any of that analog pocket insider info? You know that ain't happening, man. I ain't got no inside information. <laughs> but let's uh, let's go ahead and get into this a little bit. Um, so, I mean, is there really a story? My output is looking horrible for my streamy stream action. Hopefully that picks up. I don't know, man. That's uh, my internet service kind of sucking, sucking crap. But I, I've never played through this game on the NES. Um, I, I don't even think I beat it on the Turbo Graphics. I'm not sure. It's been such a long time since I played it on there. But that was my favorite version, which came out like a little while after the Famicom version. But hopefully this uh. Video output lows, not a. Uh, not gonna destroy the stream here. Hopefully the quality picks up a little bit. But the story to this uh, damn game is um. Uh, we should start getting better stream quality here. The story essentially is uh, his his twin sister gets kidnapped by a sorcerer and just like disappears or something. Some some weird crap like that, right? So we gotta we gotta save her ass. We gotta handle business. 
That's that's what we're gonna try to do. Juan Torres, always always a pleasure with your words of inspiration, man. <laughs> but let's go ahead and start playing. I always like this game. You know, like I said, not something that I've ever beaten that I can think of. Um, but I've always liked the graphic style and how fluid the game is. This is this is like retro goodness to me. You know what I mean? Matt W, what up? Eric Tong, appreciate you stopping in, man. Uh. Risk, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Just uh, having some internet woes for some, some reason, but I hope the stream's not suffering too much. Getting my ass handed to me by these freaking pelicans here. Okay, we, we don't really want to... Since we didn't like get very far, we're just going to start. Because you only get... um, You only get like five continues. We don't we don't want to do that. Let's just start from the beginning. Let's watch the the video if there's a or not a video, but let's see if they show. No, you gotta you gotta wait at the the the, the title screen, um, to see the twin sister getting uh stolen. But I'm pretty sure I had that running through when we we're playing. Okay, I'm gonna focus on this. Chat it up a bit. Focus on this. Uh, bitch. Uh. Yeah, you can earn more continues in the bonus stages, but I'm I'm never very good at the uh, at bonus stages in games. Are you using retro tint cables? No, I am not. I'm using uh, my um, Famicom is uh, high def. It's a uh, high def modded. There you go. Bonus stage. Let's do this. Take a sip of uh, the Corona. Supreme Retro Gaming, man, I I mean, I know I always say I'm going to look through that, and I I wind up trying to look through it, and since there's, like, other mods who've, like, blocked people, I can't, I can't find the name in the list of uh, We're Dirty Gaming. I don't know why it would be blocked, but um, I can't find them when I've looked. In the uh, the little log thing for that. See, I I, I, I sucked, man. I, I sucked at this this uh, this damn thing. <laughs> All right, let's let's try not to let's try not to fall here. Oh, son of a bitch! Right on his ass. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm not sure what else I could do, man. I've checked through it a couple times for other things too, and I mean, not that time I'd be like, "Oh, let me, let me double check that one." I, I didn't see anything. <clears throat> Over here, uh, it's playing games, man. We're gonna hang out for about an hour, if you guys want. Yesterday's stream freaking annoyed the hell out of me because um, we streamed for a couple hours, and then right after the stream got claimed. Uh, copyright claimed. Freaking bullshit, man. <sighs> Holding that turd. Let's just continue. Screw it. Um, the stream got copyright claimed, man, by a, a YouTube channel that's not even active. Um, because I played a game that they played like eight years ago. That shit annoys me, man. Like whoever their, their MCN or whoever they work, they uh, have like a their client of like filed the claim on their behalf and I'm like that's some bullshit man <laughs> I'm not very good at this game but I'm hoping no no weirdo from like eight years ago tries saying oh I played Jackie Chan eight years ago let me claim your stream like get the hell out of here Do I still have the dark gray Zelda hat? Yeah, I do. Yeah, let me know if the um the audio is not great. I lowered it from yesterday because when I listened back, I was like, yeah, 
There's some instances where that audio in the stream was loud as hell. Oh, you stupid rat. Oh, no. <sighs> Mm. Oh no! Oh! Ah, oh, I got killed! The flat earth channel.com, the earth is flat. What the? Get out of here! Oh my god. Yeah, I gotta I gotta get good at this game though. That's 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 what my problem is. I gotta get good at it. No excuses. Man up and do it. But how are you guys doing? Video game maps are usually flat. How else could they be, man? Especially in retro games. What are you talking about, bro? Ah, uh, hit my ass. Hmm. All right, let's try not to get killed. Oh my god. Alright, I don't know where to go. Not good. Oh, okay, we got some life. Oh, I wouldn't sell any hats that I've worn, man. That's kind of... Like, I wouldn't buy somebody's hat that they've worn. <laughs> Calamari fan, what's up? There's a TurboGrafx-16 version of this game. Yes, it is uh, pretty slick. Okay. Wait, how do we... Um... Got him! Oh my god. Yeah, this version is definitely pretty sweet. Like, with the big-ass sprites. I mean, if we get bored of this game, I'll, uh... I'll pop in another game. But, um... Yeah, this is a very competent version of the game. TurboGrafx-16 version, I think, is just... It looks nicer. Oh, look at this little goblin motherfucker shooting Hadoukens. Get out of here. Ah. Oh. Bathwater sale. <laughs> yeah, the the Turbo Graphic 16 version was the first version I played even though I didn't have a Turbo Graphic 16 growing up, but it was the first time I became aware of this game. All right, we got to be careful here, man. The Flat Earth Channel. Appreciate that, uh, 99, 99 cents there. What is that, Canadian? Appreciate it, man. Really do. Oh, this fool over here acting crazy with this stick. Oh. 99 cents Canadian. Appreciate it, man. Oh, my. I'm like, I'm like really doing bad. I, sh I, I wish I had saved states right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the Flat Earth Channel. Appreciate it. You don't have to be doing all that, man. But I do appreciate it. Ugh. Oh, crap. Oh yeah, the N8 Pro does have save states. 
Oh man, we should be cheating up in here, but I, I really don't like using save states. I do have my N8 Pro right here. Attack of the pixels. I'll never sub to a flat earth channel, only square earth channels. <laughs> earth is a circle. I seen pics from, from space. Juan Torres vaped that she is. Want to buy bath water? That's like ridiculous. What was that girl's name that that was doing that? I can't remember her name, man. Cause I'm not like some thirsty dude watching chicks on the internet. But hey, the, the, no hate if you do. But um, what the hell was her name, man? I can't remember her name now. Go ahead, and say, we won't judge. Del Delphina, something like that. Belle Delphine or something like that. I think. Um. That girl, man, she's she's got it going on with that hustle. People buying bath water, that is crazy, man. More power to her though. Like I don't hate on on, on people who do that. If you can if you could sell bath water to some thirsty ass dudes, some desperate guys, like fuck it, man. Make that money. <laughs> don't hate. <laughs> <laughs> like shit that's like that's crazy yeah make that money I mean I'm not judging her I think it's kind of funny but like hey if you can if you can get away with doing weird shit like that and people are willing to pay fuck it man <laughs> there, there's the bell let's get it <laughs> you go live at random times yeah I haven't put a schedule because I can't like commit until uh I might start doing like some kind of schedule when my kids go back to school. But um I'm thinking about it at least for the uh the slow YouTube months anyway, just kind of hang out cuz I can make videos and um they they they're not going to make like as far as money goes. Yes, I do YouTube videos as as my job. <laughs> um and they they're not going to make much money um over the next couple months, which I'm not complaining, but to at least like have a presence out there, um, doing more streams is kind of a, a good plan. Still stay, you know, like, Hey, I'm still here. It's just like hard to get videos out when they, uh, they don't get seen or, you know, the ad revenue goes down like drastically. Um, so that's kind of a thing I might start doing. Oh shit. All right, all right, let me focus on the stage. The, it was the hack with the Mario head. I've played that too, but only for a brief second, I think, to like make fun of it in like a video. <laughs> Shit. No, I haven't had a chance, man. Um, I just barely got home a little while ago. Um, and when I finished streaming, I stayed up for a bit, just chilling. Went to sleep extremely late, got up extremely late, had some shit to do. Haven't had a chance, man. Haven't had a chance to do much since yesterday. But I will, I will. I was almost thinking of booting it up uh, for this stream, but I was like, I want to try it first. I want to try it before committing to streaming it. Because if it's something that's just not going to work in a stream, it's like, I would like to have, um, a backup plan. <laughs> Fuck, man. We got our asses handed to us. God. Should we play something else or should I just keep trudging forward? Or should I pop in that EverDrive and just start cheating like a motherfucker? <clears throat> Up to you guys. Should we just start cheating? I'm just going to pop it in anyway. Pop that EverDrive in. All right, let me make sure it booted up my screen. I always hate that, the way I have my setup. My second monitor is plugged into my PC, and I have to change the source to use it for my console, and then my first monitor is still plugged in. 
to the PC, but now it's like it's not changing sources. Come on, man. I see it's up on OBS. It's going to make me wind up dr dropping my beer. There we go. There we go. Play DuckTales. Um, ever drive that beish? Uh, DuckTales. I've been playing DuckTales. Um, uh, what you call it? On the PS4. The Disney collection, just because I like that boss rush mode that they have in those games. Did you hammer that Atari mini system yet? What the, uh, the little, the, the little Pong machine that I did a review on, you know, funny thing with that is after I did that video, I was like, you know what? Like m maybe I made a mistake, maybe. Like, not the quality of it. The quality is shit. But I started thinking, maybe I made some kind of mistake trying to plug it in with the USB. Let me double check everything and, and you know, go through and, and try it again. And I, I, I still tried. I used, like, a power brick, plugged it into the wall, plugged it into my PC, used different power uh, USB cables. And the damn thing still, still wouldn't freaking um, power up. So I say this is fucking bullshit, man. And I, I, you know, bought it from uh, Amazon UK, and uh, I went through that to see if I could return it. And I was like, I know it's going to be a hassle because I've tried returning something before, um, but this time I went through it and just through the automated system, like, hey, I want to return this it's, uh, defective or something. You know, the USB is not working, and they were like, they were like, okay, um, don't worry about returning it. We'll just refund your money plus your shipping. So I was like, score, like I didn't actually lose out on that. Um, you know, when I, when I went through that. So that kind of worked out. Shit. Once you mess up on one of these clouds, you're just fucked. But yeah, they, they wound up giving my money back. Um, and said, just keep it or throw it away. Like, okay, well maybe I will smash that damn thing. <laughs> well, let me do these clouds. Boom. Any progress for playing Sega Saturn on a PS1 Mini? Um, what about Kabuki? Saturn on the PS1 Mini? I haven't messed with that in a minute, but I don't know. I know I got some PS1 uh, PlayStation Classic stuff coming up soon. But yeah, you're saying smash the damn Atari thing. But if I did like just a separate video smashing it, people would be... um. Oh my God, man. People would be f annoyed with me. Every time I, I've broken like one of the uh, <laughs> Soldier Boy consoles or anything like that, um, people get pissed. And it's just like, man, oh, donate it to charity. Do this. Like, who wants the garbage, man? Like, it's not, I'm not saving the world if I donate some garbage to somebody. It's just entertainment, man. Um, but I know if I do like a whole separate video just smashing that thing. It, it, it probably won't go over well. It would have been better to do it in the video. Do you like playing games on a handheld? Yeah, I do. What if you were to smash the like button? <laughs> uh, see, I'm wasting... Okay, I did earn a continue, though, because I got six. Ever play Eternal Champions? I've played it, and I don't really care for that game too much. Wait, how do I get into the menu here? All right. There we go. I save states on the EverDrive N8 Pro is so much easier to use than the um than the what you call it the uh, original EverDrive N8. All right. Damn. Oh, there's there's bonus round. Let's do it. What are those green helicopter things? I don't know, like bamboo or something. Special stage.
Should have just taken a more direct approach, just punching these bitches. And we would be fine. Hmm. Wooden robot. Okay, I get it. If you got a thousand points, you got to move. Two thousand points, you got uh, your life boosted up. Ten thousand, you would have got an extra, extra life or continue or whatever. Makes sense. Oh come on. Hmm. My finger's itching. Alright. We're done. No, we're not. Mm, yes, we are. Damn it. Alright, whatever. I should have saved as soon as we got in here, right? <laughs> Let's fight these stupid-ass rats. Mm. And pass them, okay. See, this is the kind of game, like, I mean, I think it's just, like, partially I'm sucking at it. But this is the kind of game, like, it doesn't, I don't think it's necessarily a extremely difficult game but it's one where um i would like play i would have to play it over and over and over again um and try to master it you know what i mean do you have an opinion of mario sunshine i think it's a good game wasn't my favorite by any means but still a damn good game Got him. The Crick's um, N8 Pro, the price and where you could buy the flash cart, it's, I believe, 165 You can find it on everdrive.me.me. Legendary ass. What? <laughs> raw, raw LMC. What up? Stone Age Gamer, do they have the uh, Pro yet? I have a link to Stone Age Gamer in my description. That's an affiliate link that does help out the channel if you want to buy anything from them. Um, but I wasn't aware that they got them in yet. But I know they should be. If they don't have them now, they should be getting them. I always try to get everything from Stone Age Gamer because um, <clears throat> their warranty is like top notch. Like buy an EverDrive off of somebody on eBay and have a problem with it. Like, I mean, good luck getting them to help. Like Crix will normally um, help out quite a bit. Very good customer service for the product. But like, you know, sometimes, you know, you're in the US or, you know, you're not in Europe and it's a little easier to get support from an actual company in the same country you're in. So that's why I've always liked to order from Stone Age Gamer. Um, just because their warranty is really good. 
Like I've, I've never been sponsored by them. Like they've never sent me any products or anything like that. Um, I've just always bought stuff from them. CS, what up? Attack of the Pixels. I love Stone Age Gamer. I had a brand new N8 EverDrive fail on me. They literally sent me a brand new one. Didn't ask me to return the original. That's crazy. I've never had to... Oh, shit. I should have saved right there. Fran Biz, what up? Yeah, that's that's pretty damn good. They didn't even ask for the, the original back. That's nuts. I've never had to deal with them in that front. Why did I do that? Oh, man. Slippery Ice Stage. Get the hell out of here. Oh, he shoots freaking icicles this time. What a bitch. That's kind of cool, though. The other stage he was shooting fireballs. This one he was shooting icicles. Like, hey, you reused the sprite? Okay, cool. But at least he does something a little different. Yeah, Soldier Boy is probably the one who made the uh, the Chinese version of this with Mario, with the Mario head instead of uh, Jackie Chan. <laughs> Appreciate it, Fran Biz. Oh my God, did I did I save? Yeah, I did. Oh my God, it's almost like I can't avoid taking a hit right there. I have a feeling that in order to get the bonus stage, um, I need to be up on those platforms. Damn. Give me that life. Oh my god. All right. Let's, let's see if we can make these jumps. Yes, we did it. I'm playing this on the uh, AV Famicom. That has a high def uh, mod. The, um, I know the thumbnail, like, people be like, well, it showed it in the thumbnail. And I know you don't really see the thumbnail for more than, like, a second. Um, but the, the, the system in the thumbnail system I'm using, it's an AV Famicom. All right, I don't know this boss, and I only got one hit. Oh shit. Oh crap. I was gonna say this guy's gotta be like way too damn uh too easy. Alright, let's let's save in another spot so I don't have to I can't find a high def mod kit for the NES. Um here I'm gonna find you a guy that has them. Um Hold on. I know a guy. I, I know a guy. If you're looking for the NES or the uh, the top loader, um, I know a guy. I, I got you. If you're looking for a high def um, for the mod and the kit, like get everything done for you, uh, this is your man right here. Dragon's Horde uh, Gaming. He has, he has a bunch of listings on eBay. He also has a website. Um, he's on Twitter. Check him out. Um, I know he provides. If you buy it from him, he'll do the um, he'll do the uh, the mod the mod for you, and he'll provide the mod. But you got to pay for it, obviously. If you could do the stuff yourself, 
it's cheaper. If you could provide the mod yourself, the kit anyway, it's cheaper. Um, but that's one guy, he's modded a bunch of my consoles for me. Um, and he does excellent work, man. Like I first did a video on him, um, on the work that he did. Cause I, I just, I found him on eBay and I was like, you know, I'm going to take a chance on this guy. Um, I found him on eBay, did a video, I think for the Dreamcast, promoted him a bit, you know, helped him a little, get a little bit of business. And then, uh, then I saw Metal Jesus Rocks did the same thing. I don't know if he found him through my channel or if he just found him like how I found him. Um, but he found him, gave him a big shout out, blew him up. He does great work, man. He does, he does excellent, excellent work. I'm waiting to get the high def kit for the Dreamcast. I have the, uh, the Dreamcast modded, um, and it is, it is great, man. I think what systems do I have HDMI modded? Damn it. I have the Famicom HDMI modded, Nintendo 64 HDMI modded, the Dreamcast, the Nintendo Wii, I have the, uh, the mod and I have a GameCube that's HDMI modded. That's probably like most of the consoles that have a like legit HDMI mods available. I've been looking into replacing all my retro consoles and ever drives with a pimped out mister, an analog and 240p out to a PVM, but I've never tried a mister yet. Mister's definitely worth it. Do you love it? I have an authentic GDU, GDMU coming pretty soon. I want to get ready to go. Um, yeah, I've, I have the, uh, authentic GDMU as well. Um, I know a lot of people had, you know, pains in the asses getting those things. Well worth it though. I know a lot of people love CRT gaming, but for me, it's just not practical. I have a little CRT, but I, I very rarely use it. I I considered doing the PVM thing, but I'm just like, you know what? Like, I love retro stuff, but I don't need to be stuck like on retro tech <laughs> um, playing these games. Modern and retro systems and HDMI is not very expensive. I don't know what that means. It can be expensive. Like, I, I looked at PVMs, but I'm just like, you know what? I know it's like you're getting great quality, but for me, it's just like, uh, you know, I like the versatility of just playing on my modern TVs. That's just me. I always say, there's no right or wrong answers. You guys know what's up. It is? Okay. Retro gaming system collection here. I was like, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> and I'm going to die right here again. Uh, his, his, uh, the form of these, uh, oh shit. Oh shit. Oh my God. The ultra gamer 6,000. What up, man? Oh, I saved right there instead of loading. Damn it. Messing up over here with these save states, man. Sorry. Yeah, whatever setup fits you best. I mean, I've seen PVM setups and I'm just like, man. I'm like, that's beautiful, but it's just, it's not a practical solution for me. Should I save right here?
The first time I fought this fool, his, um... This little fireball nonsense was, uh... A little different. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. All right, let me focus on this fool. Try not to get hit by his, uh... Got him! Got his ass. I used to do, um... All, uh, SCART. But I, I kind of, like, switched things up to component on that end. Popcorn lung. Man, if anybody wants to comment on popcorn lung and all that stuff, I'm just going to ignore you because you don't know what you're talking about. Um, so, yeah, let's let's not make this uh, a stream about vaping and you trying to lecture me on anything, please. Ah, <sighs> oh, shit, I should have stayed on that bitch. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I always have people like, oh, why, why do you vape? You're going to get popcorn. Do you even know how you get popcorn lung? Like, what's the chemical that you can get it? But you know what? I'm not going to go into all that. <laughs> like, it's just annoying. <laughs> it's like, give it a rest, man. Got the black lung pop. <laughs> I don't understand those turtle shells. Are those like rockets or th is that like blood spattering out of them? Oh shit. All right, we're supposed to like hop quickly on those ones. All right, let's uh let's focus here. Like is like what is that? The blood splatter. All right, I feel like I should save right here. <laughs> Popcorn chicken, that's what I'm talking about. Appreciate the kind words, guys. Appreciate it. There should that's the other thing too, Tony. <laughs> I was like, are they just like massively crapping out their shells? Or is that blood? Like what is it? I feel like these ones are gonna fall too. Son of a bitch, the other one didn't fall. Alright, I screwed up that time. Okay, I, I'm pretty sure I, I saved right there. <laughs> They're shitting frantically. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I used to... Adam Duell. Yo, man, just want to let you know, but a big fan for a long time and funny story. When you did those videos about the At Games Blast, I used to work at Rite Aid and got my manager to pull them off the shelves. <laughs> That's funny, man. Good. Like, they didn't... They should not have been on the shelves, man. Like, just, just for the, the nonsense they pulled. Not that they're crappy products. I mean, they are crappy products. But just for the shenanigans. The shady bullshit, man. That's what I'm about. That's the only reason I've had an issue with at games. Like, okay, they make crappy products, man. Um, or at least they did. I don't know if they still do. Because I don't really look at too much of their stuff. Um, oh, shit. But like, don't be shady, man. That's all. That's that's all there is to it. Like, 
Make your crappy products. But don't be shady. Yeah, they were sending out different um, versions for review. Than what was like available. That that's that's what got me a little miffed. Yeah, I've heard the the you know and the little bit of experience I had with the Legends cabinet, like it's a decent device. Fuck, did we save? No, we didn't. Damn it. All right, whatever. I'm playing on the a high def uh, AV Famicom. Oh, shit. All right, let's go. Let's get these guys. This game only has five stages, if I remember correctly. I think, what, what stage are we on? The third? That guy's throwing pickles at me? Later, Risk. Appreciate you stopping in. Um... Dude, what is he throwing at me? Get the hell out of here. I'm like seriously getting killed trying to fight this pickle kappa monster. Let's go. I need some health, man. All right, whatever. I don't even want to risk fighting that guy. Mmm. All right, let's go. Yeah, those my arcades are like, my God, man. But you know what? Like, I don't know. Does is that games like part? Like, do they sell like uh, uh, Data East games on their systems? I'm pretty sure they do, right? Like, it's like everybody licenses the same stuff, man. Like, none of these companies are doing anything different. And I've seen, like, Arcade 1-Up is doing the same thing as the Blast units. They're, they're going to be doing the same exact thing. Their version looks almost the same. Um, and some of them, I don't know if the game set, the lists are exactly the same, but it's like they have the same one. It's like a Pac-Man one type of thing. I'm just like... Man, all these companies just like, nobody's doing anything original. Ugh, how do I get it? Got it. Ah, oh, the stupid dummy stage. Let's do it. All right. Maybe we'll get an extra continue out of this. Ah. Come on, what did I get? We got enough for an extra continue, but don't they... They should give you, like, everything, right? Oh, wait, you gotta, like, buy it? Or what did I do wrong here? Fuck. Whatever, man. I think I did it wrong. I really wish Nintendo did something like that, but re-releasing Game & Watch, like, it's cheap enough. That'd be kind of cool. The only... the That Sega arcade one up, like, got me interested, but... I just... I don't know, man. Like, I don't... Do I have room for, for one of those? Like, they're games I could just play, like, on my Raspberry Pi. You know what I mean? Um, they're just emulated on there, but it's kind of cool having an arcade set up. I, I don't know. It's still kind of neat. I get it. You know, I had my issues with them before. Um, 
but I definitely get the appeal. It's just not for everybody. And hopefully, you know, their quality continues to improve, right? Yeah, I mean they they had to have they had to have uh, made some decent money off selling those things. I know some places weren't happy with them, but they they still had to have made their money. For them to continue getting all these crazy licenses, like NBA Jam, that's got to be an expensive one, right? Like. Because of the licensing with the players and all that stuff, that's got to be pretty crazy. No, I wanted health. Oh, my God. I have a feeling we're gonna fight a boss in a second, and um, now we're fight. Yeah, we're fighting this frog, dude. I just got killed, man. Yeah, let me um. Man, I don't want to get hit right there. Let me try to conserve my uh, health. That didn't work out too well. Bitch got me. I'm like stuck, man. Only having a couple, <laughs> a couple health here. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Bitch, he didn't drop any health. He didn't drop anything, did he? Ah, oh, there we go. Yes. Yes. Jackie Chan probably doesn't even know this game exists. Yeah, he does. He knows. He approves. Pop. Okay, we got to hit bubbles. What are we doing? Oh, shit. It's like, it's like breakout. No. Oh my god, I'm I'm sucking. No. What did I get? Okay. Save that. All right, I'm happy with that. We got we got a we got our life back up. Now let's not lose it before this damn frog boss. Ooh, barely missed that puffer fish. And save that bish. That's what I'm, that's what I'm talking about. Come on, get out of here. All right, at least we got health right here. Oh my god. I'm I'm happy with that. Let's do it. All right, right before the boss. Hold on, I got to I got to Oops. Crack one of these. A Game Boy game called A Alleyway. A victory bear. It was like, let me get a sip of it now. 
Adam, appreciate you stopping in, man. Have a good one. Get that, get that, get that sleep. Ah, like nose like itching shit. All right, all right. All right, let's go. Let's get this stupid ass frog. God, I'm not doing too hot. I'm not doing too hot. All right, but let's try it again. <laughs> We're cheating like a mofo up in here, man. Let's do it again. Like I'm trying to. That's like a frog tadpole motherfucker. Oh my God. Like. All right. Let them turn to frogs and then. But he just keeps spitting them out. So. So you, you, you just got to time it right, I guess. You just got to. I don't know. Let's figure this out. See. Okay. I I think I I I think I I've, I've got a strategy. I think I got a strategy. Kick him between like don't like, I mean, you do have to worry about those tadpoles. Um. <laughs> I'm not hitting him with the special that. <clears throat> Oh, now he wants to shoot bubbles at my ass? Oh my god. Okay, just like take it take it calm. Pay attention to to the tadpoles. I think this is a good game by Hudson. I, I'm just not really digging this boss though. Mm. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. Get that game genie code book out. That's what I'm talking about. Oh crap. There was, I didn't know there was like ledges up here. What the heck? Okay. Ugh. I'm not going to, I'm not going to go that route. Oh my God. It's a frog dragon. It's exactly what it is. Yeah, I'm sure I almost had him, but like, I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta be patient here. 
All right, just let him shoot those stupid things out. And now let's let's go for it. I lose my patience quick, man. The virtual pinballs from Arcade 1-Up, I'm curious to see them. I got to see them in action. I haven't had the privilege of seeing them in action, but I am curious. Very curious. Let's get this son of a bitch. That wasn't a good start. If I can get to the red part without losing any lives or lose or taking any hits, I think it'd be a lot uh, easier of a time here. Huh, kick his ass. At least we got him that time. Damn. Yeah, I had to use the uh Soldier Boy hardware. Okay, save state. Let's go to save state two. That way we don't accidentally mess something up. Well done after like 50 tries. Oh, what was that? Extra life? Okay, cool. Oh. I don't yeah, these these freaking butterfly things. What is that move? Uh. Oh, uh, we rolled right through his ass. Out of here, abominable smoke snowman. All right, we we need some uh need some life. All right, let's go to outer space. What is this? Oh shit. Fuck, okay. Oh, oh shit, he kicks your ass back up there. Oh my god, I'm like... I, there was no way. Yeah, the, the the streams I've seen of Mike Matei, he's he's definitely a a damn good player. He he wouldn't be using those save states. Shit. Oh my god, that special move saved me. Oh, yes. Yes. Muscle memory from playing a game so many times. That's what I was kind of talking about earlier. Like, you get that, like, mastering games, just like memorization with these old games. All right. Let's, let's take this serious. We want to get some, uh, we want to get some bonus action here. Talking about taking it serious and I'm already jacking it up. Ah, oh, bitch. Uh, uh.
We did we did all right. Yes. And we got to continue. That's what I'm talking about. All right, I don't like these puffer fish motherfuckers. Nope. Okay, just I thought he was like going to come at me. Ah, and there was a life right there or not life, uh, you know, health. All right, those guys are in like predetermined paths. I thought he was like going to come at me. Fuck. All right, let us ask go. All right. No. All right, a little bit of patience right there. Like, I don't have patience for this. I don't want to stand still for like three seconds. But you kind of have to. Yeah, save right there. I'm just going to let these guys come through. Oh shit, no. Oh, it's like we're gonna go too far, man. Do I want that? No, I'm gonna keep the ball. I'm gonna keep the ball. Okay, stay away from the hand. Mm, kind of hard to do. I like his eyes getting all bloodshot. Oh, shit. Play it safe. Play it safe. It's getting even more bloodshot. Damn it. One more hit. Oh crap, it's completely blood. Got him. Ooh. Oh my god. Holy crap. We did it. Finished with the roll. I wasn't even sure how many power-ups I had, but at least we got him. Didn't take as long as the damn uh as the uh the what you call it. The turtle, or not the turtle, the frog. My bad. All right, let's keep it going. Let's do it. Oh, the fish one. I think I sucked at this one the last time. But let's try.
And at least the um the bonus stages are like varied in this game. I mean it's all like the same thing, just hitting shit. Other than the cloud one, right? Um but at least they're different, you know, you get different ones. I I give them credit for that. That's pretty cool. Hmm. We're back up the five continues. Oh shit. A dark stage? I hate this. I don't I don't like Oh shit, did I Oh I hate I hate dark stages, man. I hate them. It's kind of interesting though. Like, do you not, you don't want to kill this guy? <laughs> I'm just going to stay away from that thing. Like, I don't want to like fall in a hole or something, man. Okay, good. Appreciate the subscription, Jasu Manon. Appreciate it. Okay, I'm scared there's like a, like something here. I'm gonna fall in. And then there's a, a freaking puffer fish right there. <coughs> Just like out of nowhere, there's a freaking puffer fish. I wanna kill this frog though. Mm, whatever, I'll take it. I don't know what that does. Oh my god. Alright, let's keep it going. Not doing too bad, but I, I, I don't like these dark stages. This one's done pretty well, though, I think. I think this one's done pretty well. Ugh. I was hoping for life right there. Oh my god. Okay, I'd, I'd rather be rolling than bouncing. Yeah, I don't want to be on the bouncy part. There's that little Hadouken guy again. Mm, we only got two lives. Oh, we got... We, uh... We, we bonused up. We got some life back. Ice Dukins. Oh, these are fists. You see that? They're fists. That's pretty cool. Let's keep it moving. Hmm. Oh shit. We would have made it to the end with no life lost if it wasn't for that. Possibly anyway, right? Uh, these things, I cannot avoid them. No, this is HDMI modded. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save right there. The Sega System 1 games on Mr. Yet? No, I have not. The hell is that thing? Oh shit. Okay. I got it. I got you. I got you. I understand.
I don't know what the hell these things are, but all right. Come on. Man, we need some, um... We need some life up in here. Oh, did you see that? The freaking bonus was right there. Did you send that Pong game back? I talked about that earlier. Um, I actually hit them up the other day. Um, and they were like, uh, we'll just refund you. Returnless refund. I would say, okay. I mean, I would have returned it, but they said, don't return it. Keep keep the uh, keep the thing and we'll refund the money. It's like okay, thank you. Didn't feel as bad buying it. PS5, we got to talk about PlayStation 5. And I'm talking about backwards compatibility stuff. Like, it's intriguing, isn't it? Wait, where was the, um... Hold on one second, guys. We're going to have to, um, I got to check something. Sorry about that. Thought I heard heard somebody like banging on my uh my garage. It's gonna be like, man, oh, if I got one of these crackheads out here, I'm gonna wind up uh, getting in trouble. <sighs> yeah, check out that pong video. <laughs> Crackhead Bob. <laughs> now there's like this area, man. We've got some like some meth heads that like to wander on your property and like start issues. I'm not down for it, man. Um, I was going to say, that's not a boss. What the hell's going on here? No, stupid. I wanted a... I wanted a damn, um... Hmm. Life, yes. Thank you. Okay, I'll save right there. I'm like, I keep hearing this sound. Like somebody's like... I think they'll wind up getting in a fight tonight, man. Don't want that to happen. But there's nobody out there, so I don't know.
We like to see Hyperkin make a Turbo Graphics 16 console. I I mean for the masses, yes. What the hell was I supposed to like jump on his thing? Damn it. Um, yeah, I'm in Cali. Yeah, Southern California. I'm near Palm Springs, so there's like a lot of it's like some some drug problems out this way. You know what I'm saying? Wait, we got like the full life. Let's just save right here. Is this like, like crackhead Jackie Chan? Oh, come on. Ah, oh, shit. He got me. All right, let's. Hmm. All right, man. Would you like to see Jackie Chan appear in a Star Wars movie? Like, why not? Everybody else did, right? Everybody else got. I, I love Jackie Chan. I like a lot of his uh, older, older movies. His kung fu movies. Drunken Master, Legend of Drunken Master. Not doing too well. Hello from Brazil, Tails Talento. I'm getting my ass handed to me here. Come on. I thought I had that. Try to take this serious this time. Not taking it as serious as I hoped. Damn it. Anthony, appreciate that. Matthew Kelly, hey, do you like to see Mike Jones of Star Tropics appear in Smash Bros as a DLC fighter? I mean, wh why the hell not, right? All right, come on, man. A 
It's like you gotta be prepared if he's gonna do the kick or the the little thing. Oh shit, and he does two of them. Oh shit. Mm, he hit me. Mm. We were doing so good, man. All right. All right, let's 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 remain calm. Fuck. Totally screwing this one up. Come on. Oh, I knew he was going to do a double. You got to be prepared for that double. Mmm. Oh, that that keyboard that Jackie Chan uh, was uh, did the commercial for. Man, we almost had this fool. <clears throat> I swallowed that wrong. How the hell do you swallow something wrong? Fuck. <clears throat> I think, didn't his skin turn red? Like his outfit's already red. Or did he, was it his outfit or his skin? Ah, oh, he wasn't far enough away from me. <coughs> Damn him. I knew he was going to go for the second one. Son of a bitch. All right. Damn it. I wasn't prepared for that one. Mmm. Taking them unnecessary hits, man. I thought he was going to do a second one right there. He's... Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Ugh, them double fasties. Ah, Them double fasties got me. All right, let me <coughs> take no unnecessary hits, man. All right. All 
All right, I'm not gonna try to kick him no more. I'm just gonna like run up on his face and punch him. I'm gonna punch him right in the freaking nose. Or kick him in the nuts. Either way, whatever works. I'm not gonna drop kick him in the head. I think, I think I'm having a better time not trying to do that. <coughs> well, that time I had to drop kick him because he was gonna he was gonna go do something crazy. Shit. Oh my god, man. Now he's getting unpredictable. Come on. I think we almost got him. Yeah, now he turned like like pink. Shit. What's up, Otero? Ah! Come on. Oh, he got me. I wasn't quick enough. Yes! Gimme, give gimme. Give what, what the hell was that? That wasn't even the boss. Yes, we saved her. Or is our princess is your twin sister in another castle? Can I punch her in the face? Come on, let's go. Why are you staying back there? Uh, I have a Discord. Hold on, we gotta find out what's going on here. Oh shit, we're floating around wherever we want. Oh shit, it's it's okay. Now we gotta fight this guy. Who is this guy? Oh my god. That wasn't it. Oh my god. Now we gotta fight a spider. The hell is this? Oh my god. What is that? Oh, oh yeah. Forgot he did that. Forgot he did that. Go ahead, shoot it. Oh, shit. All right, we done fucked up, though, because we got hit too many times. All right, come on. I don't know what this guy has to do with anything. We already saved his sister. Damn it. I'm going to see, like, if we continue, does it start off at that boss? Or is it like you're doing the whole stage over again? Man, fuck that. Okay. I think we're better prepared this time. No, no, I'm not. Oh my god, that one was like relentless. That one too. Man. Get the hell out of here. Fuck, man. Like, why am I getting hit by those things this time? I feel like I'm I'm, ha I'm having to put in more work this time to hit him. Not cool, man. All right, do your thing. Shit. 
Got him. Now who else do we got to fight? Oh my god. We deed it, I think. Eduardo Vega, appreciate you st stopping in. Good morning, good night, you know, whatever. Okay. I'm just gonna sit here blinking at each other. Is that it? What up, Joaquin? Yeah, we've been streaming for like an hour and a half now. A little over an hour and a half. Uh, I'm assuming that says the end. We did it. We did it. Congratulations. That's right. <laughs> Attack of the pixels almost <coughs> almost choked on my drink here. That was supposed to be his sister. <coughs> that was supposed to be his twin sister in the game. It wasn't supposed to be his love interest. <coughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they stood around for like three days just staring at each other. <laughs> I, I just, I choked on my, my freaking beer. His sister. <laughs> when I saw your comment. <laughs> yeah, there's some crazy laws out there in the world, man. I don't, this didn't count, like beating it because I use save states. <coughs> there we go. The little, the little, uh, Blanca roll. Yeah. I don't have any limes, man. I got to go to the store. I don't think I have any more Corona's though. Well, these are good for, um, being like 90 calorie beers. The premieres pretty good. Presented by Hudson mofo. Oh man, wouldn't have happened if I had that line. So that was Jackie Chan's action kung fu. Here's a little beginning story if you missed it. So him and his, his twin sister, they're out for a stroll. And it's like, boom, we blast your ass, disappear your sister. Now you're on an adventure to go find your, your, your sister. It's not a romance, man. It might seem that way because there's no text. There's like no actual story going on here. But, um, there's that. Should we do the, uh, should we check out the turbo graphics version? Where did I put my turbo or my PC engine? The ultra gamer. Appreciate it, man. Really do. Should we check out the PC engine version? Reluctant hero, should we? Yes, we should. All right. You know what? This power supply works with my PC engine. Let me grab it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Do it to it, guys. We're going for it. Jackie Chan's action kung fu. The PC engine slash turbo graphic. Core graphics. Swap the power supply. Pretty sure, yeah, this, this power supply works. Let me, let me move this. Do it now. I will, right, we'll, we'll do it for a little bit. Check out the PC engine version. We're gonna use the, uh, Oh, 
that's not the right cable. I have to move this controller out of the way. I have a bad habit of like knocking shit over, getting cords tangled up. Not trying to, not trying to fuck anything up here. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. All right, I gotta like reset this, uh, the source for the video. Hopefully it just comes up, man. There we go. Okay. 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 All right, my controller saw like tangle that. This thing's like a three foot cable for these damn controllers. All right, get my chat back up, see what's going on. We're gonna check this out, man. Okay. Jackie Chan's Action Kung Fu. There we go, look at that. That's a little bit better of a, a look here um, as far as the title screen goes. There we go. Let's let's see the uh, sequin. Look at that guy. Freaking looks like a. The hell does that guy look like? Oh shit! It's a little bit more dramatic here. It's a little bit more dramatic. All right, let's do this. I don't think I, I've played this. I've played this a bit on the uh, Turbo Graphics or PC Engine, but um, I never paid attention to the beginning sequence on this version. Essentially the same game, though. Just more colors. Make sure none of my turbos are on. Okay. And this is with the uh, the Rad 2X. We're displaying this through. Look at how big the frogs are. Yeah, graphically, it's a lot nicer looking. Definitely. And you got that raw from the tiger. And he drops like a bunch of uh, jewels. Yeah, I mean, we might as well have looked at him. We looked at both the Famicom and the NES version, which same thing, just differences the uh, title sequence. Might as well look at the Turbo Graphics version for a little bit. The graphics are definitely more turbo this time around. Sounds like he's saying, who dat, who dat? Who da? Who da? Who da? <laughs> Who dat? Who dat? Oh, coming at me from all angles here. What was that? Oh, we had a charge up move? Like, we didn't do Hadoukens in the other version? Okay, now I'm now I'm who that? Now I'm wondering, did I have a Hadouken move in the and I think I did and I just never used it. Who that? Who that? I just never used it. If you hold the the punch button, you get a Hadouki. You get a Hadouki. Damn it. Oh. Oh, those guys take two hits? Yes, give me that life. I'm pretty sure the tigers 
and the NES version took two hits. These guys are taking like what, like four hits? Was it like two or three hits in the NES version? It feels like these guys, these guys are taking like one or two extra hits. These are taking some, uh, these are taking some extra hits. Oh shit. Yeah, this is like a, this is a deeper version. We got more action going on. Play China Warrior. Who dat? Who dat? I still think the NES version is pretty cool. I own two copies of it. I love the game. I love Jackie Chan. I mean, his movies anyway, but that's kind of why I bought these. Cause I always like the Turbo Graphics version. So I had to get the NES and the uh, Famicom one because I was more familiar with this one. The playing, um, playing the NES version like we just did a little while ago, that was like the most I've ever played it. Play Hong Kong 97. I leave that up to the uh, ultra healthy uh, gamer. What's this channel? Ultra healthy gamer. Leave that up to him. Now we're getting our asses handed to us in this. Who that? I'm like, I'm getting, I'm not getting any breaks here with the, uh, lifes or anything, man. These platforms kind of blend in. Who that? Oh, you son of a bitch. Give it back. Uh oh, music change. Come on, man. Like, I need some life, not... I need some life. I'm almost dead. Who that? Oh crap, I didn't see him coming. Ah, uh, he just gets some uh some stones on him instead of what looked like a big ass turd, right? And I just hit the one button. Continue. We only get four continues in this version? Hmm. Who that? Who that? You thought it was a turd? That's what I'm saying. Man, I just got poked in the ass again. No bonus stages yet. I should have I should have got one in the beginning. I always get one in the beginning when I play this game, but I I missed it. Oh, there we go. Bonus. What is this one? Oh crap. Who that? Ah. Oh. Perfect. Oh, I got a perfect. I did I thought I didn't complete it. We got some extra lives there. That was cool. This game is this game is dope. This is a dope game. <laughs> Who that? Had a lot of shrooms in that that uh bonus. The AI in the Turbo Graphics version here is definitely um a little more uh like hey, we're 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 coming at you. Oh shit. Um 
the NES version, they just had like all their predetermined paths. These guys seem like a little more aggressive. Give me that. Well, I'm, I'm glad we played through the, um, who that? I'm glad we played through the NES version, though, to show, like, how, uh, how great the PC Engine version is. <laughs> the NES version is cool, too, though. Oh, let's, who that? Oh shit, I didn't see that coming, man. Huh. Forget it. he's like, fuck that game over. Let's keep it moving. Oh, so it like deducts it before you hit start. That's what it's doing. What indie game do you like to see gets inspired from a classic? What do you mean, like? There's been a lot of indie games that are inspired by classic NES games. Yeah, there's awesomeness in both versions of this game. This one... is definitely a little more tough. Yes, give me that. Thank you. I feel like the NES version got me prepared to play this one, right? Oh shit. Oh crap. Oh, this was the guy you had to like jump on the hands in this version. Oh my God, this is a lot, a lot crazier. Who that? Dude, you remember the boss on the NES version? It was just, we were on the little pillar and we just drop kick him in the face a few times. Nothing else was going on. Like this is, this is legit right here. This is, this is definitely a, a lot more polished. I mean, this did come out later, but not much later. They, they had, they had some time to refine the game. So in this one, it's like you use the hands. You use the hands to attack him. In the NES version, the hands would hurt you. That was cool. I meant like, which classic NES version do you like to see for borrowing it for an indie game? Um, Vice Project Doom would be cool to see like that like remade or that style of game since it's so varied it seems like it took us a lot longer to get to the boss in this one than it did on the nes version so the stages are definitely gonna be a bit longer oh shit who that yeah, if you haven't played Vice Project Doom... Oh, we got the little Hadouken dudes. If you haven't played Vice Project Doom, that game is definitely worth a, a playthrough. I have a... I have a... Um, a legit cartridge for that. Cause it was just a, a game I, I had to get once I discovered it. I say that game is dope. What do you got for us? Thank you. Did the frogs in the NES version, like, if you took... Oh, shit. If you took too long, did they eat your your prize like this one does? I don't know. Okay, these, like, the fireball dragon things in the, uh, the NES version, they were just, like, fireballs. They weren't even, like, dragons. Oh, shit. We got this guy again. Oh my god, dude, he's whooping my ass. Yeah, Vice Project Doom was a game like 
like a recent NES game that I discovered, which was like a couple years ago. We discovered it on a stream on this channel. I, I say we, but you know, myself and whoever was watching who wasn't aware of the game. Um, because it was like on a, I, I don't remember what's like if we played it on a, like a clone system or something, but I had like a 501 um, NES cart, like a bootleg cart, and it had Vice Project Doom on it, and we checked it out, and it was like, dude, this game is badass. Who dat, who dat? Those Hadouken guys, man, they're like ready to go. Dude, he shoots like multiple fireballs. All right, I'm not gonna make the same mistake again with those, those dragons. Not making the same mistake twice. Those guys are like following me, man. Those freaking eyeballs. I don't like these dudes. <laughs> God, man. I'm like getting too far ahead of myself. I'm not seeing where the next rocks are. Damn it. Okay, let's 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 try that again. Right, at least we continue right here, and it's not like oh, start the whole stage over again. I feel like, oh my God, dude. Like you can't, you can't see the top. You can't really see what's going on. There we go. I feel like this, this part of the stage could have been designed a little better. Like, sure, that, that part wasn't bad, but, like, in the beginning... Who dat? Who dat? Give me that! Oh, son of a bitch! We missed it. Oh, he said who dat right there. And we got two continues. I feel like I I, I should have let the uh, frog eat the thing and see if it changes. I don't think it does, though. 420 Raziel, what up? Who dat, who dat? Oh, shit. Damn. Oh shit.
I don't want to mess with those guys, man. Who that? Give me some life. No. Ah. Ah. A new Street Fighter character gets a design based from Jackie Chan since there's Fei Long. I mean, why? <laughs> uh. Come on. Come on, bitch. All right, what else should we check out on the Turbo Graphics PC Engine? I'm not bored of this game, but it's like I don't I don't want to get stuck playing the whole thing again. Even though I don't think we're gonna because I only had like one continue left. Oh no, I got no continues left. We're fucked. We gotta check something else out. China Warrior. All right. Jackie Chan had two arcade fighters of his own. What? What were they? All right. Let me get my TV back on. All right. China Warrior. Uh... Okay. <sighs> I, I'm just... This game is like... Balls, man. Jackie Chan did it better, man. <laughs> The press up the jump is oh, horrible, man. And then you just, you walk. That's it. Uh, you walk. I, I, I'm, you just walk. The game just auto walks. I, I had to press up. This game is dookies. This game is boo boo. Oh, right in the head. Shit ball right in the head. Ah, drop kick. All right, what other game should should we check out? Because this 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 game is is not good, man. I think this is the most I've ever played this game too. I played it for like thirty seconds before, and I was like, this is this is uh this is this is garbage. Like, who are these dudes coming at me? Hmm. Oh, we got power from hitting those things? What is that, a pack of cigarettes? The hell was that? Oh my god. Oh my... This freaking retired Guile from Street Fighter? He lost his hair? Can't Sonic Boom anymore? Oh my god. Pressing punch like takes so long. Got him. 
I like uh, New Adventure Island, Galaga 90. Those are the games I really like in Turbo Graphics, but there's a ton of them. El Lalet, what up? Laliet, Lalet. <sighs> All right, I'm done with that. Let's get back into something else. Hopefully, my TV doesn't turn off. Come on. I fucking did. Bullshit. Freaking bobo -ness. Yeah, I love New Adventure Island. The 8 bit though SM30 Pro, which is it? Hold on. Hold on a second. I don't think 8-Bitto's made too many bad products. They've only made a couple that I kind of was like, I don't know. Hold on. <clears throat> if you're... The SN30 Pro, like... The one that I really liked was the uh, SN30 Pro Plus. This is my favorite from them. That's my favorite. That's my favorite controller from 8 bit, though. 8 bit do. SN30 Pro Plus. That is my favorite. Hero Ton Tonma. Is that a PC engine or Turbo Graphics? It's got to be a PC engine, then, right? What is the game called? You said Hero. I'm not familiar with that game. It's uh, almost midnight here. One, two, three, ABC, what up? Hero Tanma. Is there some other name for it? Is it a CD game? Legendary Hero. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta tell me the whole thing, man. Oh, there it is. I'm using the uh, Terra Onion uh, Super SD System 3 right now. I do have a EverDrive, though. Finger pointing, we're right there. Look at this willow looking mofo. Ooh, coins. This guy jumps abnormally high. And if you hold the jump button, he like, and you hold up, wait, if you hold up, he floats. Yeah, if you hold up, he floats. Interesting. Oh, I just got killed by a fireball. I didn't know it was one hit. He's the Japanese Superman. Come on. These guys like respawning on my ass. That thing took some hits, man. Um, I'm scared. Are right, this is an interesting one? Oh, we got some we got some tracking fireballs going on over here. Oh shit, what is that? 
Oh shit. I didn't notice that fool with his uh that lick a tongue dude. Yeah, get out of here. Oh my god. That's some boo boo ness. All right, let's try this again. All right, get those fools before they, um, before they lick a tongue your ass. Okay, now what? Oh shit, I fell. I was trying to jump, man. Legendary hero, what was it? Tanma? We were playing Jackie Chan's Action Kung Fu. We played through it on the NES and then played uh, a little bit of it on the PC Engine. This like, oh shit. One hit deaths, man. That gets me. That just gets me. This this is a cool game though. We need that fireball. I like the popping noise. Like pop. Like bubble bobble stuff here. Ah, oh, turned around too late. Hop. All right, let's let's be patient this time. Monster World cross uh, goals and ghosts a little bit, yeah. A little bit of the vibe I'm getting here. A little bit of Pokemon with the lick a tongue, dude. Any word on Drew Talks? I haven't heard anything, man. He's got his kids, so he's been busy. No, I'm I'm playing on the PC engine. Did we get him? Cop Robin, what up? Young man, you'd better go back here. Do you think that you could return alive once you go into this island? You must regret what? What did he say? Later, Ultra Gamer 6000. Appreciate you stopping in. The hell is. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god, dude. How do you get guys with projectiles? And you got barrels coming at you. Oh, what is this nonsense? Oh shit, and I just... Yeah, I want whatever all this stuff is, man. Scotty Fuego, what up? All right, I want whatever. Ah, uh, did you see that? Oh, now I got a bomb thing. Okay, I guess that's all right. As long as we still have our projectile. I thought it was just I was going to throw a bomb. I was going to be like, that's fucking stupid. Oh, hell no. Get out of here with that. Wow. One, two, three, ABC. Ever get offers from GPD for their products? No, I do not. <clears throat> Appreciate it, Scotty. Yeah, wasn't there like a bunch of... Uh power-ups and stuff this way taking that risk coming at it from below legendary hero tanma fuck we got to get all those power-ups again Uh, I don't like losing the shield. This like sucks how many freaking hits. God. Okay, now what do we fight? Oh, oh okay. You have to, like, see that coming, man. Alright, I'm done with this game. I'm done with this game. It's a cool, interesting game, but I'm just done with it. We'll play something else for a few minutes. Got a few more minutes on the streamy stream action. Pokemon ROM hack where all the Pokemon were DBZ, Dragon Ball Z characters. Yeah, I've seen a lot of crazy stuff like that. Bonk's Adventure. I like Bonk's Adventure. But what else do we have? Um... Man... OG Hugo, for me, I really enjoy the Rad 2X just because it's simple to use. Um, but it's not going to be the best quality that you could possibly get, but it's an easy way to plug it into a HD TV. That's what we're using right now is the Rad 2X. Um, but you definitely will get, like, you know, better quality through, like, an XRGB Mini, you know, Framemeister, OSSC with a good quality component or SCART cables. Um, 
for me, it's just, it's more about the convenience. I'm getting good quality, not the best quality, but good quality. And I dig it. I'm happy with it. What about Darkwing Duck? Darkwing Duck. What are you playing on? We're playing on a PC Engine Core Graphics 2. Chu Man Fu. All right, pick a game. We'll play another game for a few minutes here. We'll, we'll check it out. PC Engine or, uh, yeah, Darkwing Duck is awful on, on this anyway. NES port's better. Not the best Disney game on the NES, but it was it was okay. But the Turbo Graphics, nah. Bonks, I don't know. Bonks is like fun, but it's just kind of like I always use Bonks uh, footage when I do videos for the PC Engine or Turbo Graphics. Did I already play Rondo? I don't, I don't want to... It just takes so long to get into that game. Saint Dragon? What is Saint Dragon? I mean, we could put Rondo, but it's just like... It, it takes so long to get into it. Who needs sleep? Well, I do, but not quite yet. Saint Dragon, I'm not familiar with it. What what did uh is it just called Saint Dragon? Is it on a PC engine or um Turbo Graphics? How many milligrams? Three. 11 p.m. in Alaska. It's 12, 12 a.m. for me. It's not too crazy late, but. Is it just called St. Dragon? I'm not, I'm not seeing it here. It's called something else. I don't like the font they use on um, the Super SD System 3. I, I really don't like this font. It's kind of like everything bleeds into each other. Tenserus, okay. There it is. You got to give me the full name, gentlemen. I don't know what I'm looking for. <laughs> Thank you, Shane. <laughs> That's... I think this is it. Is this what you guys are talking about? Oh yeah, I've played this. Hold on, that audio is kind of loud. It's loud for me. Turned it down a little bit. Did you watch Smash JT's video? Which, which uh, video was that? I feel like I need to, to, to set the turbo on for this game. Got him. Dave, sorry, was making coffee. There you go. Oh, my God. Blazer Beam just subscribed. Appreciate it, man. 
on that road to 100,000 subscribers. I don't know if it'll ever happen, but it might. <laughs> yeah, I, I just put turbo on, man. We got a turbo. We got a turbo this bitch. Get out of here. Turbo your ass. What, what retro console uses SD card size cartridges? I don't know. SD card size cartridges for a retro console. Like what, what goes far back is retro. What, like what's retro though? Like, like, yeah, the DS uses SD sized carts anyway, but I wouldn't consider that necessarily retro. The N gauge. What year did the, uh, did I die? What about the, uh, the, the, um, Pikachu handheld, the Pokemon handheld? Yeah, I wouldn't consider the DS retro. I have a hard time considering, um, um, oh my God, getting my ass handed to me. I don't know, when I think retro, I think like NES, Atari, you know, I'm not really thinking of too much from the 2000s, maybe a little bit, I don't know. The first console was the Dreamcast, oh man. S using save states is cheating, but I mean... It's up to you on how you enjoy your games, man. We save stated the shit out of playing Jackie Chan earlier. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that this fool's just like right up on my nuts. And then I got killed because I couldn't see anything. Oh my god. Fucking Mecha Cal. Oh. Right, this is a game you definitely gotta... You gotta have turbo on, man. Oh my god, dude. I'd have to look at the timeline of stuff that I had. Because I had... Sorry, 2600. Fuck. Got killed by this guy. Um, I had the Atari 2600. That was my first console. The NES. And then the Game Boy. Atari Lynx. Sega Game Gear. Super Nintendo. After the Super Nintendo... What did I have? Nintendo 64. And then... The play... Wait, yeah, was it Nintendo 60? No, I had the PlayStation 1. Wait, I don't remember. No, I had the PlayStation 1 after the Nintendo 64. And then the Dreamcast. PS2. I don't freaking know, man. All the Game Boys, Game Boy, I can't remember, man. I'd have to sit down and document everything. Okay, CyberCal. Oh, pff, I didn't. Okay, I'm done with this game. I'm done with this game.
All right, let's chat. We're going to chat for a second. I'm going to look at the uh, chat. Did you ever get a Game Boy Micro? Yeah, I did. I have, I've had a couple of them over the years. And yeah, I can't I can't think of uh the exact timeline of consoles that I had. So what's going on in the chat before we end this? I should get one in, in a GDMU one day. The Dreamcast catalog of games is not like crazy big, but there's some good games on it, man. I had a lot of fun with the Dreamcast, especially Fantasy Star Online. What was it? Alien Front Online. Toy Commander. A Game Boy Micro for 15 bucks last month was did it look like trash or was it in good condition? Seaman, yeah, that was that was a weird one. I had a Sega Saturn. I had the Sega Saturn before I had the PS1. I remember that. I had the Saturn around when it came out. I just don't remember the timeline. Needed to repair the screen. It was a $20 fix. That's cool because then you're only in it 35 bucks. That's that's a good deal. Game Boy Micros are expensive as hell nowadays. I sold mine like a year ago. I had the Famicom one. Sold it for close to 200 bucks. Yeah, I have a I have a Saturn that is rayed, but I've Barely put any time into setting up my SD card. Thinking of starting a PS2 collection, should I try to get a regular or a slim? I'm not big into the PS2. Um, if you're just going to collect games, why not get the slim? But if you're going to like hack the shit out of it, get the fat. PS Vita was the same deal, also needs a screen. <laughs> Even better than shit. I love the Vita. Actually, my Vita's just sitting right over there. I hadn't played it in a while. I charged it up. Yesterday, we did the PS TV stream, messing with that. Got a Game Boy Advance SP 101 modded with a Golden Zelda case, better speaker, new battery. I have a Pikachu modded Game Boy Advance. Did you hack the Vita? No, I did not. I only have a handful of games. I, I didn't want to hack the actual handheld. Because the thing is, when I had the PSP, um, when I, when I had the PSP, I hacked the shit out of it, and then I lost interest in it after I hacked it. So I didn't want to do the same thing with the Vita. I only wanted to buy games I wanted to play. I have not messed with an MSX. The most I've done with MSX is like on the Mister or uh, emulating. I would never buy an MSX myself because when it comes to retro consoles, other than two examples, which would be like PC Engine, Turbo Graphics, and then the Neo Geo, those are two systems that I didn't own growing up, but I had exposure to them one way or another, and I always wanted them. So those were consoles like, okay, I'm going to buy them, you know, when I became a big boy. So I bought those, but any other system besides those, I won't buy any console that I didn't grow up with besides those two. Those are the only things. Now, like if there was an MSX Mini, Classic Mini or something, I would probably buy that. But as far as like an actual console, I wouldn't buy it. FM Towns Marty with a Doc Brown. Did you have to like supply like all the uh, serial numbers and shit to get that? <laughs> would I buy a PS2 Mini if it was made? Yeah, I probably would. I mean, that's just OG Hugo. That's just me. I know a lot of people are into retro collecting. I have, yeah, I have a, f a, a decent number of systems, but. Um, as far as like physical collections of games, I don't have a ton of games. Um, but, uh, yeah, I just, I only want the stuff I'm going to play one, two, three, ABC, you into tablets. I don't 
not really. I've been thinking about trying to find a tablet for specific uses, but uh, it's not that big of a concern for me. I have like an older um, Amazon Fire tablet, but I never used it. Probably doesn't even work anymore. N64 Classic when? I don't know, man. Nintendo might surprise us and just announce it out of nowhere, but I just still think the logistics of making that, making the controllers for it, it's going to be kind of uh, a little ridiculous. Once you get into EverDrives and hacking, physical games are no longer necessary. For me, that's only partially true. Um, because for the games that, for the systems that I have like real EverDrives for, not ODEs, like, okay, the Dreamcast, when I get the GDMU, I sold my collection of Dreamcast games because I was like, screw it. Um, my GameCube, I do have, I haven't set it up yet. But I don't know how I feel about it yet. But I do have the uh, GC loader or whatever. Um, but I have a small collection of GameCube games for like because I have two GameCubes, one that's HDMI modded and region modded and all that, and I play physical games on that. And then I have another one I'm gonna set up with the GC loader. Um, but I'll keep like the small collection of games for that. But other systems like the NES and Super Nintendo, I have EverDrives for, but I own every game that I want for those systems, every game that I would want to play, I already own them. <laughs> and it's not like a huge list. I don't have tons of games for these consoles. I only have a handful. Um, Super Nintendo, I have some repro carts and stuff like that, but I own like all the games I want and it's not very many. So for me, it's like, I want to keep those even though I have the EverDrive because I like to use the EverDrives for um, testing stuff out and playing games that I never had access to playing homebrews, hacks, that kind of thing. Do I own a CDI? Nope. Never played a CDI, don't own one. The region modded GameCube imported from Lixing. Yeah, I used to love looking at the stuff Lixing sold. OG Hugo, you own 58 Neo Geo AES games. I I owned, I don't own very many AES games. I have a Neo SD Pro or whatever, but um, I did have more at one point, but I wound up slimming it down to where the only games I own now for the AES, Samurai Showdown 1, 2, 3, and 4. Can't afford 5. I'll never buy that unless I just have so much disposable income. Just like, that's crazy expensive game. But I have the first four Samurai Showdowns, I have um, Nam. Uh, I have Nam, and then I have Magician Lord, and I have World Heroes Two Jet. That's it. I sold the rest of my games, and I had an MVS consolized MVS. I had the Omega. I had the CM MVS, whatever. Um, I had a shit ton of games for that, but I wound up selling it. It was like it was redundant. Why do I need an MVS and an AES? Let me get rid of it. Um, so it was kind of an easier thing for me because I didn't own those games growing up. So I just got rid of them. Um, only have a handful of games for the AES, but 58 games for the AES is freaking, that's a ridiculous collection. <laughs> that's because there's, there's a good amount of AES games that are, you know, a hundred dollars or less. <laughs> like you're talking about like, you know, you look at like Nintendo and super Nintendo. Oh, you can find games for a couple bucks, five bucks, 10 bucks. AES is like, Man, like $100 for a budget game, right? Do I have a modded Xbox? I do have a modded original Xbox, but I'm going to sell it because I didn't own it. Um, I bought it off of a guy um, who watches my channels uh, and is a moderator on my Facebook group. Um, I bought it off of him, and then I just don't play it. Um, I have like the whole modded Xbox, two terabyte drive, I have two of the uh, like Logitech wireless controllers for it. I have like the official carrying case for the Xbox. I'm just getting rid of it all. If I can, if I can find a way to sell it, and I don't know if I'll do it on eBay because shipping on that bitch is gonna be expensive. But I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna get rid of it. 
cheapest AES game is like 200 bucks. Well, that's a little misleading. Maybe like because you have to look at uh, US and Japanese release games. Japanese games are cheaper. US games are like, you could have like a Japanese AES game that's like 50 bucks. And then in the US, it'll be like 300. <laughs> it's kind of crazy, man. Game, game is on gaming. I'm not sure, dude. Um, I'm not sure. I'd have to, like, I would probably just want to try to get back what I paid for everything. Like, I'm not looking to, um, I'm not looking to profit off of it just to get rid of it because I don't use it. Neo Geo and Saturn. Neo Geo is more rich than than Saturn, but Saturn there's definitely some expensive games. But nothing can compare to the AES, especially if you're looking at US versions of the games. Man. Game on it's uh two terabytes. Like I said, I don't I don't use it. I got rid of my Saturn collection when I got the Raya. Um, but then I never like successfully set up the uh, the Raya with everything that I want. I'm working on it, though. <laughs> I had to get better ripped games. Is modded Xbox or Wii better? Um, that's just up to you. The Wii to me is like, I have a modded Wii with a hard drive. I think like, I don't remember what size hard drive is, but with like pretty much everything on it, like all the Wii games and all the GameCube stuff. Um, but I don't even use that either. Cause the only game I ever want to play on the Wii is uh, Tatsunoko versus Capcom. Um, and it's just such a hassle setting up the Wii, but the Wii, you know, a lot of cool emulation stuff you can do. Um, the Xbox as well, you can emulate you know, a lot of stuff, but it just depends on the library. I would look at what the core library of the system is. Would you prefer Wii games or Xbox games? That's the way I, I'd look at it. For me, I don't really care for the Wii that much, but I would prefer the Wii over the Xbox, the original Xbox. Just because I didn't have an Xbox when it came out. Um, and, like, I bought it from this guy because he was like look man I, I need to make some money and it was just kind of like okay I'll buy it from you and then I just never used it Ugh. oh I just burped man sorry level one online what up bro what's really going on Scott have you played this on PC engine what Saint Dragon we were playing it for a minute and I am playing it on a PC engine but I didn't really care for it too much this game was like hand you know hand my ass to me dude Never had the balls to hack a PS3. I don't even own a PS3. I don't own a PS2. I don't own a PS3. Um, I have no desire. Even if somebody like, I'm not. I'm not like one of those people who beg for shit. But like, if somebody was like, "Hey, um, I'll send you a PS2 and a PS3," I would be like, "No, don't send it to me. I don't want it." Not because I don't like the games for them. It's just like I don't have the time. Like. Like, why would I... Like, I just don't want systems that are just going to sit around on a shelf. Um, I'm still, like, working on, like, narrowing down some of the stuff that I have. Like, I love plenty of games in the PS2 and PS3, but I just don't see playing them again. A Renero M? You're just going to have to... You're going to have to Google search, man. The Smoke Monster pack has changed over the past couple years. It's not a... It's more of a utility than it is an actual pack. People email me all the time, man. Email me or message me. Hey, can you give me a link to your ROMs? And it's like, no. <laughs> I'm, I can't do that, man. Are you the FBI? What are you trying to pull here? Yeah, I love the PS3. I love the PS2. I just, for me, 
I don't have the time, so I don't. I would never play it again. I get at least a few messages a week from from different people, and I'll, I'll be honest with you guys. Like, if people email me and they they're asking for something or they they uh they like DM me on social media or something, they ask a question or they need help with something, like. I always try to respond um, in as much of a timely manner as I can, but if the message is asking for ROMs, I just ignore it, man. I just ignore it. Smoke Monster Pack 5.0, I'm pretty sure there's a later version than that, but um, but yeah, Google it or check uh, Archive, the Internet Archive, you might have some luck there. I take it I missed Jackie Chan. Yeah, we played through um, the NES version, then we played the PC Engine version for a bit. But yeah, what I was saying is like when people message me about ROMs or asking for download links, I just ignore it. It's not that um, I want to ignore people, but when it comes to that stuff, I, I've had my 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 issues in the past, so I'm not. I just can't respond to that stuff. PS3 Portable. I'm pretty sure somebody told me yesterday that somebody in Japan made a um, PlayStation 3 Portable. I haven't looked it up. I haven't looked it up yet. This fool is going to jump. Will Sony ever make another handheld? I doubt it. And we gotta stay off of the ground. Stay away from these fucking Thundercats, man. Yeah, I don't remember if it was in the stream. I'm pretty sure it was a stream. Yesterday, somebody told me that, uh... That, uh, somebody in Japan made a PS3 portable. That would probably get me interested in the PS3. Sony's made some excellent handhelds. The PSP and the Vita, amazing. But with your proprietary memory bullshit that's expensive as fuh, that just ruined it, man. That ruined it. Yeah, this game you have to have turbo on, man. Otherwise, you're like this. I'm not doing that shit. Turbo. The GameCube Joy-Cons. Yeah, I saw those. Saw those linked. I've seen two different people made versions. It's kind of interesting. I wouldn't sacrifice a uh, Wave Bird, though. Sony car with proprietary gasoline? Probably. Let these stupid things pass us. Try to get to that mechanical cow again. What game was this again, guys? <laughs> I don't remember. Saint Dragon, but there's some some other name in front of it, like Ten Ten Say something. Or some other bullshit. Okay, we gotta stay away from his mouth because shoot these stupid ass fireballs. Stay away from the trees because then you're not gonna see any of the fireballs. Oh shit. And I still got... You, you know what? Fuck this game, man. I'm, I'm done with this game. This game is too damn cheap, dude. Reset. Whatever those, um, you know, things are above and then Saint Dragon. Man, forget that game. I don't got the patience for that. Really don't.
Pete <laughs> Pete Saint Dragon. What hardware am I playing? I'm on the PC Engine Core Graphics 2 with Super SD System 3. You can't do like the in-game menu because like half of the games, more than half of the games will freaking glitch out. I, they never figured that one out. That's one of the things that sucks about the, the Super SD System 3. So you have to get used to resetting the system. But I mean, if you're going to change games, you would have reset the system anyway. So it's not that big of a deal. Um, but yeah, I wish that in-game menu functioned properly because most games, when I've tried using it with that on, the games just don't function right. Do you like the turbo, the, the Hyperkin Turbo Graphics controller? It's not a bad controller. It's just I kind of wish it was a little cheaper. But the more that I think about it, I kind of wish I would have stressed that, okay, it's $30, but the cable's like 10 feet. So for people who like need that extra length, like, okay, that's a good deal. It's not a bad controller. You use an original controller or one of these Avenue Pad 6s and the freaking cable's like three feet long. But my main concern, like level one online is saying, is that the controller's 30 bucks. For me, Hypercon quality and a controller is not worth 30 bucks. Not, not for that thing. But it's a niche market, so I guess I understand it. Um, it's, it's just not a bad controller. It's just... I'm still using the originals or I'm using the Avenue pad six. I'm not even using that controller. Like I like the, uh, what was it? The Atari 2600, the Ranger. I like that controller. So I bought two of them. The Hyperkin controller. I bought one like the Ranger controller. I bought one. I did the review and then I bought another one. The turbo graphics Hyperkin controller. I bought one reviewed it and then was like, Nope, I'm not buying another one. So to me, that, that's kind of my thought on it. Like, okay, I, I reviewed it. It's not bad. I wanted people to see it, you know, see it, make their own minds up. But for me, it wasn't worth getting another one. I don't know. Hyperkin's really hit and miss, in my opinion. They've done some good stuff, but then they've done a lot of stuff that's kind of like, eh, whatever. That's just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? It's really insane. They're director. It's really insane nowadays that we have to have these giant hard drives to game on consoles. That's what I'm saying, man. I miss the days. Just pop in your fucking game and start playing a game. Right? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I don't like that. I don't like it. Come on, baby. It, current gaming, there's a lot of cool stuff, man, but it's hard for me to keep up. Those tiny eight butt dough controllers, switch controllers, I won't bother with them. Which ones? Like I reviewed the um the switch light ones. I don't remember what the heck those are called. They're okay. The dual D pad ones, they're okay. I've just never used them. But those little tiny ones, I'll never use that. <laughs> I'll never use the tiny butt doughs. <laughs> like I have no reason, so I have no no interest in that. What what US CD games were there? Not very many. We got Fighting Street. Let's load that bitch up. Let's do it. Street Fighter. Let's see where it began. The Zero Two. Do you not like your SN30 Pro Plus? I do. I said that earlier. Somebody was asking. I bought. I brought it out just because somebody was bringing it up. And I was like, this is my favorite controller from these guys. How do you... How do you... Um, oh, look at how booty this game is.
You kicked me right in the head. Hadouken! I don't even know how I did that. Yes! <laughs> Project Nerdvana, what up? The larger C64 remake? The uh, I, I like it. I think it's an interesting system. How do I Hadouki? Oh, it's like the same, but it's just like... I've, I've barely, barely played this game. I played it in the arcade before, but my god, this game is wonky. So glad Street Fighter 2 uh, came out. <laughs> And the million versions of that. How do I? How did I? How did I do? How did I do that? Dude, the freaking commands in this game are so stiff. I'm bare. I'm only doing like freaking. Hadoukis and, and, and dragon punches by accident. Dude, the buttons are so stiff, man. Or, I mean, the controls. It's got jank controls, man. Hit them right in the head. Oh my god. After this game, like, who, who, who was like, you know what? Let's do a sequel. Thank god they did, but man. What do I think of the DSi? I, I like the, the, I liked all the DS systems, man. Oh god, it's ass. Kick him right in the nuts. What strength? All right. What strength? But don't forget there are many doors right here all over the world. Okay. <laughs> Ryu versus Geki. Jank fighter. Janky street. Well, that, nice that this guy can do some specials. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you can you can throw shit, cause I sure as hell can't. I have a, a DS video coming up, probably Monday. Well, it's kind of a DS video. You'll see. Why do you feel that the SN30 Pro Plus is the best? I don't know. I have a video. I, I just like the quality of it, the feel of it, the grips. It's a great controller, man. Multi-purpose, switch, you know, whatever. Dude, this game is like giving me a headache. Oh, I could I could punch his shurikens. Fuck, never mind. That was some bullshit. Oh, you laugh at me? This game is got a lot to run before you beat me. Try again, kid. <laughs> Try again, kid. What? Yeah, the voices are pretty damn funny. All right, let's let's try this again. Oh my god. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Try 
try again, Kido. <laughs> I want to meet the guy who did the voice. Come on, bitch. You know, if this is like Street Fighter 2 and he jumped at me, boom, Dragon Punch to his asshole. But in this game, no, man. Attack of the Pixels? I don't know, man. Like, I haven't experienced that, but I haven't had much of an issue with it. Oh, my God. I've mostly used it on the Pi and um, the Switch. But if uh, what a level on line, level one on line is saying, that might be true. Cause I haven't experienced it. All right, I'm done with this, man. I'm done with this. Forget this game. Try again, kid. <sighs> well, we've been streaming, 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 stream action for like over three hours now. I think it's time to, to call it quits for the night. There is Ninja Gaiden for the PC Engine, and it's kind of like seizure inducing, in my opinion, anyway. <sighs> but we're going to end it, guys. We're going to end it. We'll do another stream maybe tomorrow, maybe Monday. Try to find something else to play. This one was, hey, Jackie Chan Action Kung Fu. We checked out three versions of it. I mean, the Famicom and the NES version, same damn game. Just that intro screen is a, a little different, kind of odd. Um, and the PC Engine or TurboGrafx-16 version. It's pretty cool. Pretty damn cool. Definitely a, a lot more to it than the, the NES versions. But, uh, you know, both versions are pretty damn good, in my opinion. But, hey, guys, we'll stream again soon. Find something else to play. Really do appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. And with that said, I will catch y'all next time. Peace out. Bye-bye and boom. Bye-bye. Later, guys. Thank you. Let's appreciate it. Bye.